Hey guys, I'm Drew the Helium Noob. Thank you for watching my videos. Today I continue to take a break from my installation videos to go over the cable and connector setup between my Rack Wireless Antenna and Rack Hotspot V2 Miner. Before I jump in, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on alerts. That way you can get all my content as I release it. I have a lot of good information and links posted on my website, heliumnoob.com, so check that out. Please show your support through using my affiliate links, and if you like my content, please consider donating to my channel through the link in About My Channel. I greatly appreciate it. Let's go, noobs. So today I kind of wanted to talk about the Rack Wireless Antenna uh, to Rack Hotspot V2 Antenna Cable Build. Um, so again, I do have a bunch of these links up on my website, but let's run through the two different ways that you can actually um, do this setup. So one um, is going to be from the antenna to the miner. Now, typically this is going to be an indoor install. Um, so you get the uh, antenna outside, you're going to run a cable into your house and have it connected to the miner. Um, the other way to do it is going to be from your antenna closure, or excuse me, from antenna to the enclosure, and then an enclosure to the miner. Now again, this can go outside. Um, this is weatherproof. So this is the other diff uh, setup that you can do. So let's start with the antenna to the miner setup, okay? So first of all, on your um, fiberglass antenna, at least on the rack ones, um, there's an end, uh, a male N-type connector on the actual antenna. And then on a lightning arrestor, you're gonna have an N-type, uh, you gotta pick up a uh, N-type lightning arrestor with a female connector. Um, and then also you're going to go female to female on the lightning arrestor. That way on the other side of it, you could pick up an, a male N-type to an RPSMA male into the miner. So again, this is going to be one way. Now, regardless of which way you choose, you're still going to want to put your lightning arrestor in it. I do have a video that covers that. Um, again, very important. On the antenna side, there's no cable needed. This is a direct connection right into the antenna. Um, but on the uh, miner side, this is a cable that you're going to need to pick up if you're going to use a lightning arrestor because chances are that this connector is different than, than what uh, came with the uh, came with the um, miner or it's just not long enough. So what I want to do is I want to jump out real quick and we're going to go check out my website. So if we go to the website, it's heliumnoob.com. Um, under step three, I have some links here. One is going to be LMR 400 antenna wire. So if you click on that, it's going to take you out to USA Coax. Now, just a, a word of caution. If you just Google USA Coax and you can go to their website, they actually have some specific builds for helium products. Now, it's not any different as far as an LMR 400 to this LMR 400. The, only, the, the wire itself isn't different. The difference is in your connector options. So if you click on the helium links, you're not going to have as many connector options. So on my website, I link right to the LMR 400 cable build, which allows you to pick the, uh, the actual connectors that you need. Um, so again, in our, um, our first example here, we need to do an M, uh, male N type to an RP SMA male as well. Um, so we're gonna first pick our length. So let's say we wanna go, uh, I don't know, 20 feet, call it. Uh, connector one is gonna be um, your male N type. So you gotta find that in the list. right there and male and then connector two is going to be RPSMA male so then we're going to jump in here and we're going to find it RPSMA male now again this is to allow you to build custom uh, cables so there's a thing called custom heat shrink on it um, you don't need to do anything with this unless you for some reason want some kind of um, writing on the actual uh, shield for the wire um, again, you don't have to do it. If you don't, it's going to come with what's pretty much standard on there uh, as far as what type of cable it is. But you can actually customize that if you wanted to. Um, you would do that by choosing file and sending it in. Um, add this to your cart. Uh, and you're going to have, you know, this, this cable is a 20-foot cable with the correct connectors, about 40 bucks. Um, so that's how you build out your cable on the website. So let's jump back to the uh, presentation here and go to the next one all right so if we go to the the second step or second setup that you can do where you go from the antenna to an enclosure and then the enclosure to the miner this is going to be a little bit different but again you're still going to have your um, lightning arrestor connector uh, connection so again female to female um, and, and this also comes in female to male um, 
you know, you have to pick which one suits your needs and what in your connections. Um, so on this one, female to female is going to uh, go direct into the antenna, which is an end type male. Um, and then out of the lightning arrestor, oh, uh, let me back up a second. You don't, again, you don't need a cable for this. This goes right into the antenna. Um, on the other side of the lightning arrestor, you're going to have an M, a male end type to a male end type cable. Um, this goes to the enclosure. This is the one that you're going to be looking to purchase. Um, the enclosure itself actually has uh, already has built in um, an N-type female. It's an RPSMA male um, small feeder wire. Um, so your your male N goes connects to the enclosure, and then on the inside of the enclosure, it actually plugs into the miner. So again, you don't need. Um, to purchase this that comes with the actual enclosure so again we're looking at the cable required um, so if you needed to do an m a male n type uh, to m male n type you would do the same thing pop over to usa coax um, again pick your length let's do a five foot this time you already got um, n type male and then let's switch it to another n type male and again if you want to do your um, customization you can you don't have to click add to cart and boom so that that one's only about 17 bucks so again you can do multiple lengths uh, multiple connectors whatever it is that you're looking to do whatever you need for your specific setup this is basically my setup um, but yeah you're going to want to figure out what you need first before you start to order um, let's see here so again um, you know if you want to go to my website it's heliumnoob.com you click on step or under step three where it says pick your install accessories there is a uh, link to LMR 400 antenna wire if you click that that'll take you out to the website you can order it now those wires took uh, about a week and a half to get in um, so it's not quick but it's not horribly slow um, but yeah so it's a good source made in the USA um, there's other ones out there but uh, make sure you're not buying any um, knockoffs or anything like that you want the times microwave uh, type wire um, other than that, guys, thanks again for joining me today, uh, checking out the uh, video. Um, and then if you would, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. We'll see you guys on the next one.